Hello everyone and welcome back to another art lesson. Today we're going to be looking at the body as a whole and its proportions and how we can draw those as best as possible. So for starters, you may have heard about the um, rule of eight heads that tends to be used for bodies. And the way that this rule works is that it says that when you have a head, I'm just going to quickly draw one now. So if you have a head, just finish the bottom bit, like that. Then the body will be eight of those high. Okay. Now, those proportions are idealistic. They're not realistic, um, which means that although it, it, cause that comes from, it comes from sculptors, simply put, um, for sculptures, like you see within the museums, the um, Italian ones, the ancient Roman ones, they tend to go by this sort of idealistic um, eight head model. Um, real people tend to be around seven and a half heads tall, and it varies, of course. Um, but eight tends to be the most typical, and we see it as the ideal one as artists. So I'm just going to draw eight heads here, of as similar a size as possible. And then I'll draw a body next to it just to show you how it works. So try and keep these uniform. Two, three, four, five, six. I'll add them up here. I know you can't quite see it yet. I'll see if I can zoom out in a minute. And eight. There you go. I am very famous for overshooting my my um drawings in terms of scale. So I tend to run out of space towards the end of my drawings. I tend to run out the feet, which is probably why. I've made it slightly larger than I planned. Let me just adjust this quickly. And there we go. We're near enough close to fitting in the eight heads there. That's as far as my arm will stretch. The arm is holding my camera. So there we go, our eight heads. Now let's try and draw in the body around that. So we'll start over here. And we're going to start off just by drawing that head shape, so circle, a little bit on the bottom. And there we go. We're going to be drawing this really rough because we're only really interested in, in the proportions this time round. So there's the person's head. And now watch the neck. The neck is not thin like this. No, it's thick. Because it needs to be able to support that head. So we're going to bring it down like that. Okay. Now the width of the whole body is about two and a half heads. So you can't exactly draw it very easily. You just have to sort of do it by eyeball or do it sort of like that to help you figure out where it should go. You tend to spoil it anyway. There's a lot of variation within people as well. So sometimes it is literally just about thinking how broad shoulder do you want a person to be? Getting those massive muscles that are on the neck there. And we will have lessons in the future which go into how exactly these muscles and parts of the bodies connect. All right, there we go. Remember the aim is that down here at the bottom, we're eventually going to knees and end at the feet. So let's keep going. I'm just going to draw a male body here, very basic one. Not huge amounts of details necessary for what we're doing here. Although there are some key parts of the body that I want to make sure 
are still there. So the waste bit here, I want to make sure that's here and it's clear. Let's help with centering the body. Again, the pectorals there. Okay. Edge of the rib cage, that's all where the diaphragm is. And then we'll, we'll go into the six pack and however you want to draw that. All right. And then the waist. Whoops. Should use into this area here. One, two, three. Okay. Might need a little bit more than that. There we go. Now notice that I don't um do tubes. You will see some people work in boxes and tubes. I don't do that. I never really have. Um, it's more about just understanding how the body fits together and that comes from studying each section individually on its own and of course the body as a whole and drawing from reference. Reference is the key here. Okay, I'm starting to see an issue here. One, two, three, four. So this is halfway. This has gone too low. So. Let's bring this up a bit. It tends to be that the bottom of your torso, so like the bottom of the groin area, is where your it's sort of halfway point to your body. So I'm just going to bring that up. So we can go back into the legs. There we go. This will be a knee. Carry on down. And then we're good to go for the feet. Other side, same thing. Okay. I'm not using complete reference right now or trying to get it as realistic or accurate as possible in terms of how it looks. Right now I'm just aiming for correct proportions. There we go. Knee. And we're good to go. Over here, elbows, match them up around where your belly button is. Okay, so that's where the joint for the elbow should be. Arms do vary in length and depend on how the shoulders sit on a person, but typically don't take your wrists beyond sort of just below the groin. Right, that's, that's around where it should end, around this sort of area, around the one, two, three, four, fifth head. Let me just stand up and look at this from a bit of a distance. Okay, yeah, I think I might have gone a little bit too long here. If ever in doubt, do not forget that you are a human. Use your own body as a reference as well. So for example, I often check just to remind myself how long is my actual elbow to my um, wrist. If I fold my arm up, so fold up to there, where should it stop? Are these the same length? And they pretty much are. So make sure that you're Make sure that's correct. Okay, you don't need a super detailed hand here, so we'll just leave it like that. Let's go a little bit lower with that. And do the same thing on the other side. And like I said, we will have um, lessons looking at how to draw the arm specifically, going into the muscles inside and all that sort of stuff, but that will come later. At first, we just want an overall look at how the body is sort of working together. Okay. And there we go. 
So a basic body. All right, and that will vary from person to person. Some people have slightly longer legs, slightly short bodies. Some people have broader upper, uppers, upper bodies and wider hips and so on and so forth. There's so much variation within women and men. And then across women and men as well. Like women and men can have more similar bodies than you might think. Or than illustration and comics and popular culture would have you to believe. But it's all about embracing that variation and using it to be able to design well and tell the story that you want to tell. Let's not forget how it is. If you want to put on those other little details that are on people. And that's that. Not as hard as you thought, is it? Now let's look at some of these parts that line up. So top of the head, part of the head. As you can see, the, the ends of the shoulders do sort of line up with the lower part of the pectorals on the chest here. So they should be within a similar section. Remember I said about the elbows line up in a sort of similar place to the belly button. and the wrists sort of matching up with the bottom of that sort of groin area. All right. Knees, make sure, with the legs, make sure that your thighs are longer than the lower part. Remember your muscles in your upper legs and your thighs are some of the longest in your body. I think they are the longest in your body actually, because it is a massive muscle. Okay. And one thing with, um, the body is that there's a lot of in and out and in and out and in and out okay we're very curvy creatures even with even if we are quite skeletal or bony by nature or, or angular as a whole we're very curvy creatures and it's one of the basis of um of a figure drawing and life drawing is understanding the rhythms within a, a human so for example understand the rhythms here from the neck down to the legs from the curve here up into the center of the chest and understanding all those flows is part of understanding the structure of the human body. Okay, so hopefully that made sense and hopefully you can start trying. If you do try, do it with, do it with some um, reference. Okay, reference, it really is the key, I've told you. In every video I think so far that I've had as a lesson that reference is the key and it really is. Uh, this stuff cannot be learnt just by using your imagination all the time. You have to look at images. All pros do it, your teachers do it, and although we might not do it all the time anymore, it's still the best way to learn and to study and to improve our skills. So just a reminder of what we did this lesson, we looked at the eight head rule. And we understood that eight head is the eight head rule is an idealistic proportion. The real proportion for humans tends to be around seven and a half. Okay. Uh, we also looked at how the different parts of the body fit together. And also the rhythm in the body as well. All right. Try putting this into practice and see how it goes. Uh, if you're interested in, in the rest of the videos or this is the first one that you've seen, please make sure to check out the other stuff that we've got. that will be linked in Ed in the end cards or on our channel and if you haven't already please subscribe and comment on other stuff that you want us to look at next that's all for now thank you for listening until next time